What is up guys, Austin Urcho here and today we're unboxing the Slam Crate, so WWE Slam Crate for this month. And so this is of course the Loot Crate, WWE Partnership Crate stuff and I believe, I'm not exactly sure on this, but I believe the theme is Attitude. So not exactly sure. But to go along with this, so first we'll just go ahead and start with it now. We have our last figure from, I forget what they call them, but it's the Attitude Era, um figures that we get out no slam star is what they're calling and it is the rock is our last character um for the whole set so we'll have a picture go up at some point here um with the whole ring so of course we have the characters that come with um the parts of the ring and so you can stick it all together and have a whole entire ring with four different characters and i'm not sure it may be in the booklet um all the or the set for next month because I know they've already announced who the next person is so obviously there's like the whole ring thing shows the Stone Cold and Triple H ones there going together and so we also got the Undertaker one last month I don't know why I'm holding all that stuff and then so now we have the Rock to finish off the set so let's see if I can pull him out of losing all sorts of stuff so here we have the Rock so there he's his face is kind of turned, it's hard to see with the lighting. And so there he's supposed to be doing his, if you can smell what the rock is cooking type thing, into the microphone, you gotta readjust it. And so this one, so his, uh, well, they move a very little bit. So the legs are pretty stable, but his arms do move, so you can move them like out and side to side. And so you can move it down and around and stuff. So you can move it all different directions, so it's not just in the same pose. Um, so the Undertaker one was posed last time. The Triple H, I don't remember. I think the arms could move. And then the Stone Cold had all sorts of moving parts and was kind of hard to mess with. So there we have The Rock. And so, of course, The Rock. He's got his eyebrow, which I don't know if I can get the face there. Again, with the light, it's hard to see. He's got his eyebrow up. He's got the Brahma bowl there thing on his uh, shoulder, or just the bowl tattoo. It's there on his pants as well. And on the front, it says The Rock. And then, of course, just his whole wrestling outfit. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're not big fans of The Rock as wrestler, as a wrestler at least, um, so we don't really care much about the figure, but um, let's go on next to our shirt, and so we have, looks like, an Alexa Bliss shirt, so we have Wicked Little Miss Bliss, and so Alexa Bliss makes everything Bliss or whatever, and so there, so again, she, she has like kind of like a Harley Quinn type gimmick or like look to her and stuff, and um, I've never seen this one, like she always has Little Miss Bliss and Five Feet of Fury and stuff like that going on as part of her sayings and other shirts and stuff. Um, I like the colors of all this, like the blue and the green and the pink and all that sort of stuff, but I don't like this shirt color. I like how it kind of looks like a voodoo doll. Yeah, she does have like a stitching, it's hard to see kind of on her face, but she has like stitching and going And the in. pins and, and the yeah, buttons. Pins sticking in her and everything, so yeah, she must be like a voodoo doll type version and stuff. So we have that of Alexa Bliss shirt. So this, I didn't know what it was at first, but I do recognize it. So we've had one of these in a box before. But this is a certified G, so Enzo Amore um, says this lunch belongs to a certified G. So it's another lunch bag. Um, like I said, we've gotten one of these in another box. I don't remember what box it was. Wasn't it an X-Files? Yeah, it was an, I think it was a loot crate too. Um, it was an X-Files lunch bag, and so this is a weird bag, so it's got like insulation on the inside. So as you can see, it's like insulated types of real thin, but then it's like a paper bag is what the rest of it's made of. So it's just really weird, and this one, the last one had like a Velcro thing. This one's like magnet at the top, so you can like close it and then maybe like roll it down or something, I don't know. I was going to say, fold it um, over and see if it sticks. Well, oh, I guess like, there's another set of magnets down there. Hold it the other way. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But there are t there's a set of magnets up here that keep it closed, and then there's a set of magnets lower down on the back, I guess, to help pull it down. I don't know. Um, it's a neat idea, but the bag I don't think would be very useful for keeping your food cold or anything. Then next up we have an Enzo Amore hot cold pack, and so it's got how you doing there on the front, and so it just looks like it's a mini ice pack it looks like you have a WWE logo and then yeah so we have the ice pack with a bunch of little black beaches I think they look really cool they look like fish eggs or something in there so that you can freeze and use as a little tiny ice pack for anything you need but I just think that's funny and cool so that's kind of awesome next up we have oh this is kind of cool we have 
um, championship coasters. So I assume they're all the same, but it's the Universal Championship. And so these aren't like the normal coasters, you know, usually like wood and stuff. But these are actually like flimsy type coasters. Oh, so, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so there we have the Universal Championship right there. And so like I said, it's like flimsy and stuff. I don't know if your um, cups would stick because we have a problem with coasters of cups sticking to them and so we pick it up they stick. I don't know about this material. Then next up we have the World Heavyweight Championship. So this is the SmackDown Championship. The other one's the Raw. Then we have the Women's Championship, which looks just like the Universal there. And then our last one is the SmackDown Women's Championship there. So that's cool that they're all different. I thought, assumed they were all the same. But I mean, they pretty much are in design, but they just feel so, like when they're in your hand like this, they just feel so weird because uh, they're so thin and like flimsy. But they have like a weird texture to them. They just feel really weird. I don't know how to describe it. And then of course, my favorite thing from these boxes is our champion or our title belt uh, pin for the month. And so we have, which fittingly is I believe the Smoking Skull belt, which again, it's hard to get in the light there. So this is Stone Cold's um, personalized belt that he got made. I don't know if I can see it there better in the light. So it says WWF. Of course, this is from the Attitude Era. Heavyweight Championship with the skull on it with smoke coming out and there's rattlesnakes and stuff. And the theme was Attitude. So that goes along with this. So I guess that'd be why we have Enzo and Alexa Bliss and all this stuff because they have Attitude. And speaking of Alexa Bliss, there's trash in here, but she is our cover for the inside. It says this crate needs more Alexa Bliss. And then it says Attitude in the bottom. So that's kind of cool. So that goes to our booklet for... Um, this month and of course as I mentioned they already announced the next wave and stuff and so our first one is Sasha Banks there so we have the legit boss is going to be our next um, character that we get in the slam stars so first up we have our Alexa Bliss authentic t-shirt so the um, Alexa Bliss voodoo doll type shirt and it says um, Re replica the goddess of WWE with this WWE Slam Crate exclusive t-shirt worn by Alexa Bliss on September 18th, 2017 episode of Raw. So I like how they do that. They like wear these one-off shirts because you can't like buy these in the WWE shop. They wear them like once or something and then they have reference point to this to win the award or whatever and stuff. Next up we got our WWE Slam Stars The Rock. Ooh, collectible figure so I have the rock there to go of course with the ring like I said we'll probably put a picture right now you, you can see the, what they all look like together next up we got our Enzo Amore lunch bag so we got the bag along with the hot and cold pack so I guess they kind of go together but I don't know how well it work as like a um, ice pack for your lunch box but I guess they go together uh, the next up we have our championship coasters, which again I like that they switched them all different uh, coasters and stuff to make them each different, not just all repetitive. And then of course my favorite, the pin, the smoking skull belt, let's see it says, takes a lot of attitude, commission your own belt, so what better choice to make than a Stone Cold, or Stone Cold Steve Austin's trademark title belt. So we got the pin there, so that was awesome. And so before we end, let's look at our stuff. So our interviews this month is with Brizongo, the fashion police there. And then let's see, our poster is, oh, that's cool, of Bret Hart. And this is like a really old school Bret Hart. So that's going to be about probably a 96, I'd say, 95, 96 photo of Bret Hart there. So that's really cool. I mean, that's cool to get a really old picture like that. That's what I would enjoy more than like the current um, people and stuff. So that's it for this box. So, Burr, what was your favorite item out of this box? Uh, probably the pin or the coasters. So the pin, which is always my favorite, as I said, is cool. And then it, the coasters here, which again, I wish you could like feel these through the screen. I don't know how to describe them. They just feel so weird. It's just like such a weird thing feeling in my hand. But that's cool. And then, of course, I like the um, rock figure here, too, to go with our others to finish off the ring. So that's cool that we now have a full ring. So that's going to be it for this Slam Crate this month. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And we will see you next time.